Silverick, I've heard you can teach an AI to do stuff without telling it what's right or wrong. How does that even work? All right, Morty. You know how sometimes you get a pile of stuff and no idea what's in it? That's unlabeled data. Now, supervised learning is like having a teacher who tells you this is a cat, that's a dog's. But unsupervised, it's like dumpster diving for patterns. So, it's like finding shapes in the clouds, but with data? Sort of, Morty. Now, supervised needs labels, known outputs. Unsupervised just finds structures in that unlabeled mess. But here's the thing, Morty, neither is perfect. So, what do we do? Just pick one and hope for the best? Nope. That's where self-supervised learning comes in, Morty. It's like giving a kid blocks and telling him to make something. They'll learn how to use the blocks without us telling them what to build. Okay, so like giving the AI a puzzle to solve instead of telling it what's right. Exactly, Morty. And get this, physics inform models. We embed domain knowledge into the model to make it smarter. It's like teaching an AI about, well, physics. So, supervised is for when we know what we want, unsupervised is for when we don't, and self-supervised is for when we need the AI to figure stuff out, right? Catching on, Morty. Now, imagine combining all three. That's where we're headed in 2025. It's not about choosing one, but using them together for different tasks. Wow, so it's like they're all working together to learn stuff? Exactly, Morty. And that's the future of machine learning. Now, follow us for more educational videos on how AI is changing the world.